All right, so King Von was killed at a nightclub. Uh, to me, it was a senseless killing. We have our young men out here killing each other over what? I didn't hear nothing. That was a moment of silence because at the end of the day, it was really over nothing. You had him and NBA young boy going back and forth with each other over what? A female? From my understanding, that was no one-on-one -on -one personal encounter, no personal engagement for them to develop any type of animosity towards each other. It was them going back and forth over the internet. Over, you mess with this girl, you mess with my baby mama. Or you made a song with this girl, my ex-girl, yada, 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 yada. This is the message to my, to my young men out here. Because a lot of y'all grew up with our fathers, with our grandfathers, or with our positive role models and influences that can navigate you in the right direction when it pertains to a lot of different things in life. Let me say something about a female. A female, you don't own a woman. Just because you have a baby by a woman does not mean that you own her. Just because you're married to a woman does not mean that you own her. Women are not property. Women are a vessel that if you invest in them and that if you love them, that if you cater to them, if you bring security... You don't have to worry about a woman cheating on you, dealing with another man, etc. It's not that hard. But a lot of men have this control factor, this control thing. They want to control everything. My grandfather taught me as a young man that you don't own no woman. You don't control no woman. So that's always been my mindset because that's what I was taught. So if a female... Fellas, think about this. If a female has intercourse or have relations with another man, if that man did not force her, if that man did not rape her, that means she made a decision that she wanted to make. For whatever reason she desired to make that decision, that is a decision that she wanted to make, she decided to make. I never understood how a woman could take her keys, put them in the Unlock her door, put him in a niche, drive to another man's house, open her legs. That's what she decided to do. Put you in your feelings and you get upset. I'm not going to get mad at that man. I'm not even going to get mad at her. But there is a thing about getting tricked at your spot. So if you, let, if you make a decision that doesn't line up with my purpose and our purpose for our relationship, then I mean you just got tricked at your spot. So I'm not going to sit up here and go crazy, go kill somebody, go fight somebody, go do something ignorant just because you made a decision that you wanted to make. I know a lot of y'all young men, y'all want to control everything. But listen, now this internet beat them popped off. King Von is dead. You got other people that were there that ended up dying. You got a young man that shot him over what? I know he's sitting in jail like, man. Why? Why did I even do this? What was the purpose of me doing this? And fellas, that's one thing you got to understand. You got to understand purpose and ramifications. What is the purpose for me making the decision that I'm about to make? Let me say it one more time. What is the purpose of me making the decision that I'm about to make? And what are the ramifications of my decision? You got to ask yourself that in everything in life. That way you'll make a better conscious decision so you can already determine possible outcomes of the decision that I'm about to make. But a lot of us, we just go head first. We have no core values. We have no discipline. We have no code. Now this man in going to go to prison for what? Y'all were, there was a fight going on. When you fight, you fight. You don't have to pull out no, no weapons. If you lose the fight, you lose the fight. You live to see another day. I don't have to go to jail for the rest of my life. 
Now you got to worry about when somebody telling you when to go to sleep, when to wake up. Can't see your parents. All your homeboys, they're going to hold you down about a month or two. Some of them not even going to write you at all. Then you're going to become numb inside. Then you're going to sit back and think about all the things you could have done with your life. But you don't. <laughs> Throw it away. For what? Some clout? That clout going to last for how long? We got to do better. We have to do better.